In philosophy, and particularly in ethics, scholars make a strong distinction between normative and positive approaches. A normative approach focuses on how the world should be. A positive or descriptive approach describes the world that is. Normative statements express value judgments. Positive statements are limited to facts. Consider a person searching to rent a home. A positive statement would describe the price or the square footage of the home. This would be something like the monthly rent is $2,000. A normative statement would present a value judgment. The rent is too high. This course presents a positive approach to understanding how humans judge machines. That is, it is not a course about how humans should judge machines, but about how they actually do. We focus on positive or empirical results because we believe that positive questions can help inform normative work. How? By focusing and understanding on empirically relevant questions that we can later explore through normative approaches. Without a positive understanding, our normative discussions may end up targeting a world that is neither real or relevant. The relevance of questions is revealed by the light of empirical work. Normative questions about concepts such as algorithmic aversion or algorithmic bias are relevant because these effects are empirically verifiable. If algorithmic bias was not real, discussing it from a normative perspective would be interesting but not relevant. Positive work teaches us how the world is, normative work how it should be. Developing a positive understanding of the world is important, not because the way that the world is provides a moral guide, but because it allows us to focus on normative efforts on relevant questions. In the next section, we will learn another two foundational concepts, the ideas of moral status and moral agency.